Just an ordinary day that Mimi walks down a pathway and crunches leaves as she walks. She's going to her hideout where she stays for peace and quiet. Ouch! Accidentally, Mimi steps on a sharp rock that slits her leg. She then notices big footprints on the pathway to her hideout. She doesn't think much of it and keeps walking. Suddenly, she hears multiple dogs howl and run. What the? Not knowing where the dogs are going, or if they're coming towards her, she runs as fast as she can. Finally, when she thinks she has outran them, she sits down laying her back on a fence. It had gotten very dark, where the only source of light was fireflies and the only noises were natural noises. Abruptly, she hears soft footsteps coming toward her and behind her. They all made different noises, but she could tell they were footsteps. She peered into the darkness and started to make out multiple pairs of glow-in-the-dark eyes. Just as she started to realize, a thick fog swished past her face and she felt like she was being dragged. Then she fell into a deep sleep. Willie Mae's house. Poor little girl, all cold and wet. Mimi wakes up in a new pair of clothes and a blanket on top of her and sees a big woman smiling at her. Where am I? Oh, hi, honey. It doesn't matter. I'll take care of you until tomorrow. Are you sure? It's not too dark. I can get back home. It's okay. You must be freezing. Willie Mae points to a door and turns around to keep cutting up flowers. Those flowers were very deadly, but Mimi didn't think anything of it. She walked into the room Willie Mae pointed to. It was a room full of things Mimi liked, such as books, watercolors, plants, and more. Cute, she said, looking around. She dropped her ring under the bed and went to pick it up. As she lowered her head, she noticed photographs. She picked them up and stared into the souls of the person in the pictures. That's... That's me. She looked through all the photographs quickly and looked under the bed to see if she could find anything else. There was a box that had a label called Dog Whistle. At that moment, Mimi knew exactly what was being planned. Her murder. She jumped on top of the bed to the window where she was about to curl out when, Sweetie, I made you some homemade pup. Mimi was about to jump out the window when Willie Mae walked in. You made it too obvious. Mimi jumped out the window and landed two stories down and ran as fast as she could to the gates. Open! Ugh! She can afford this mansion but not working gates? She punched the gates with her fists and it flung open. She ran through the woods until she got to a small stream. She could hear Willie Mae's faint voice screaming behind her. Once Willie Mae finally caught up to her, she jumped over the river and saw her turn to dust. Did she just... Wait! No way! Suddenly, Mimi fell backwards and woke up at her hideout. What just happened? Was that a dream? Or was it for real? For real, shrieked a voice behind her.